Okay, <clears throat> this is my rocket stove. Um, basically, what we have is a piece of 24 inch by 24 inch sheet metal there. It's got some snow on the corners. It's a 24 inch square 16 gauge. I got it from Lowe's for $20. And then underneath, you can see I'm using six inch pipe throughout. For the really, really hot pipe, I'm using the black pipe, stove pipe. There's a 90 degree elbow and a 24 inch long piece. That's the intake and the burn chamber. The burning actually takes place in that 90 degree elbow and then goes up the pipe there and into the uh, drum and then comes back down cools and exits out that hole in the bottom and then this is a test pipe here but what's going to be attached to that is uh, four feet of black pipe and then uh, ten feet of aluminum pipe um, corrugated flexi pipe I'll show you that later that will then vent outside that will cool the exhaust gas and vent it outside um, what goes on the stack is this this is a uh, standard 55 gallon oil drum. It's kind of rusty. Got a dent in the side. Uh, I got it from a friend of mine for free. I'm going to grind the rust off of it and weld it to the stack there. If we come over here, you'll see these are all tack welded together for a trial. I, I trial burned it the other night. This is kind of the crucial part. Uh, my entire drum is 34 inches tall. The oil drum is 30, 34. My stack here, my vertical stack, this is what causes the rocket. The hot exhaust gases roar up the top of this thing and burn, vaporize and burn the wood gas gases that are generated from the burn below. And what we have here is six inch pipe that I cut to 30 inches and then I filled it and then on the outside is 10 inch pipe that locks together I got those three pieces that lock interlock together I was lucky enough to get them at my local Habitat for Humanity restore and as you can see I got them for six dollars a piece but they're a, a thick gauge galvanized pipe that interlock like that and then I welded it to the sheet down at the bottom here and actually those are just tack welds um, it's gonna have a whole bead weld here later this evening I gotta clean up the metal grind it and clean up the metal and then tack weld like I said everything was just tack welded as a trial in case I had to take something back apart now this pipe is insulated with, see if I can get it to focus in here, granular vermiculite mixed with uh, fire clay cement that I got from Tractor Supply. It comes in a little tub. Got it on sale for $2.99 a tub. Um, it's cement that is used um, to repair fireplace liners. And I mixed it in a bucket and with some water to kind of because it's really really thick and I mixed it in a bucket to uh, thin it out and then I poured vermiculite in it and kneaded it with my hands and it became kind of like marbles little balls of marble and I dropped them down in this tube and filled this tube full of that cement vermiculite mixture and then I filled the remainder with loose vermiculite to fill the tube up to the top um, I've seen some people fill this top piece here with cement and round this over. Um, I didn't have any more cement, so I'm going to use a piece of black pipe galvanized tr or black pipe trim ring around here, and then I'm going to tack weld it around to attach it, so that if this stove ever gets tipped upside down, all this stuff doesn't fall out. See, it's loose. It's not loose down inside, but on the top here, it's loose, and if that spills out over the side inside your drum once the drum is welded on top 
uh, you won't be able to clean it up. So I'm going to weld a ring around here to seal this to keep it from making a mess. So that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to clean up that barrel. And uh, we're going to grind all the metal for our welds. And then uh, weld this thing permanently together. So let's see how it goes.